I'm Devin. I know you guys probably all know me by now. And then we have Aaliyah here. Um, we're going to be talking to you guys about harmony and innovation, exploring two different transformative technologies. Now, why is innovation so important when we talk about treatment plans for patients? It's because not every patient has the same exact treatment, right? When you have a 45-minute consultation, which you all will be doing, right, <laughs> with your patients, you want to make sure that you're customizing these treatments so that they pertain to the wants and the needs of your client. They improve the outcome. So that's what we'll be discussing with you today. So first thing we're going to talk about is just some statistics and treatment relevance by generation. And this comes from Statista.com. And uh, of course, as we age, our, our skin concerns change a ton, right? And this is really what this is showing. So we see that Gen Z is really concerned with acne and acne scars, right? Compared to baby boomers, they're really not concerned with that necessarily. And our younger generations, Gen Z and millennials, they're not quite concerned with wrinkles like our, you know, Gen X and baby boomers are. But I do want you guys to notice that everyone's concerned with dryness in this study, right? It's huge no matter what generation. And hold that thought, we'll talk more about that. Um, but it's really important that in, in the two uh, technologies we're talking about today, we're able to address all of these different concerns among all generations. So we'll talk about our first technology. So first is the VFR. And what the VFR is, it's radio frequency and it's fractionated radio frequency. And we can achieve skin resurfacing, skin rejuvenation, and skin tightening. And we can actually uh, achieve skin resurfacing and skin rejuvenation together, which is like really the special part about VFR. And it's just the change of a setting, which is really, really nice. And it also depends on our indication, you know, how we're treating the skin, but also what kind of downtime do our patients want to? So you can have a little bit of social downtime if you're doing ablation or absolutely no downtime so it's really nice that you're able to customize it this way. Now if you're familiar with ablation and you're scared of that word, don't be. Uh, thanks to the fractionated technology we're really treating fractions of the skin at a time and so we have cells left over in the epidermis and the dermis to then help us heal and that's why we call it a, so a social downtime and not a true true downtime but we can really still achieve incredible ablative results. And where the there we go. Uh, where the VFR truly shines and where you want to use it is acne scars, um, advanced aging, so your patient who has laxity, wrinkles, texture, hyperpigmentation, as well as texture, it's absolutely amazing for, so ablating that, as well as stretch marks, uh, among many other things, but these are like where, where it really shines. So with all of that being said, yes, the VFR is kind of that handpiece, that go-to handpiece for that patient who walks into your practice and, you know, they say, wow, like, I think it's too late for me. I have hyperpigmentation. I have laxity, lines and wrinkles, right? All the above. Yes, VFR, that's the way to go. But how do we also maximize those benefits? We can add the Enerjet onto that. And we're going to dive into the different treatment indications and how the Enerjet comes into play. But just to give you a brief recap of what the Enerjet is, again, it's a, it's a pneumatic needle-free jet delivery system. It's going to deliver various different therapeutic compounds to the skin that we choose. It's going to disperse itself into nanoparticles into the tissue. What happens there is, because we're focused on the dermis, we get fibroblast stimulation. And I talk about this all the time. Sinclair talks about fibroblasts all the time. That gives us collagen and elastin synthesis and remodeling, right? Skin tightening, ultimately. We also get an increase in glycosaminoglycans. Does anybody know what glycosaminoglycans are? I do. What are they? Hyaluronic acid? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Hyaluronic them, acid. Right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So now, why is that so important? We're going to kick to the next slide to find out. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I missed my cue for a No, no, you're fine. <laughs> Take it back here. Okay. So it's so important when we're talking about uh, trophic scarring for acne, right? When people have acne, unfortunately, when the healing process occurs, sometimes there's just not enough collagen and elastin that's able to be built. And then we get this kind of awkward depression in the skin. So why does Enerjet come into play here? It's because these fibrous bands can be de-anchored through the compression from the air compressor that's in the device, and then the therapeutic compound can kind of help build it up from the ground and regenerate. So we get two different synergistic effects going on here. We're getting a liquid subsision effect, right? And then the second effect is gonna be that delivery of the therapeutic compound to fill and build up the tissue. All right, so I'm gonna paint a really amazing picture for you guys. 
So um, in everything we do, it's really important that we look at the skin as a whole, right? And we know that in the dermis, we know about, uh, we know about collagen and elastin, right? It's full of collagen and elastin, which we love. As Devin just mentioned, what's really supporting the collagen and elastin in the dermis? What's the other component within the dermis that is so, so, so important? Does anybody know? Glycosaminoglycans, yes, Woo. absolutely. And it truly isn't talked about enough, but just like we lose collagen and elastin, we're also losing those glycosaminoglycans as well, and they're truly responsible for the moisture retention within our skin. So when we lose all three of those things as we're aging, we're seeing um, wrinkles, laxity, and loss of elasticity. But we also have to then look at the derm, uh, I'm sorry, the epidermis, because that's aging as well. So what's happening there? Uh, when we're really nice and young, our cell turnover rate is about 28 days. So our epidermis is constantly renewing. When we get to about 50 or so, that can increase to 60 days. So it's taking longer and longer for the epidermis to regenerate. This causes dull, dry skin, the lo uh, loss of glow. If you ever hear your patient saying that, like, I used to have a, a, such a beautiful glow and now I don't anymore. And that's really why, texture as well. So how can we address this, right? So with the Enerjet, we are replenishing the moisture back into the tissue. We are increasing glycosaminoglycans, as well as stimulating fibroblast cells, again, for collagen and elastin regeneration. And now you may be wondering why there's a lawnmower <laughs> on the screen. There's a purpose, we there's promise. There's a purpose. This represents the VFR, and we thought it was a really nice visual to kind of picture how it's removing dead skin cells, right? So with the VFR, when we achieve ablation, we are removing that epidermis and to create a new epidermis. So we're really helping with that dull, dry skin and that texture. So really, really important to you know, address all layers of the skin. And I think you had a couple things on scarring too. Yeah, exactly. So where does this come into play with scarring, right? We know that scars are not just deep in the dermis. They reach all different depths, the reticular dermis, the papillary dermis, and then the epidermis as well. So we need to be able to target both of these um, or all of these layers with both of these devices. Here we have some before and afters. So you can see here treatment of acne scars. Uh, well, two treatments were done a month apart. Just look at the like fullness of the skin, just mm -hmm. that hyaluronic acid now in that tissue plus the stimulation of collagen and elastin. It's like, it has a, a more plump uh, look to his skin. And you know, keep in mind too, would you mind just popping oh, back so to that sorry. slide for a second? No, <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> um, so when we talk about acne scars, it's not typically just one type of scarring a patient has. They have ice pick scars, they have rolling scars, they have box car scarring, right? All of those things are present. That's why using combination therapy is also so important because sometimes maybe the VFR is gonna be able to pick up on something on the surface a little bit better than the Enerjet would because maybe the Enerjet goes deeper. And here's another before and after. So good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So for you guys, we've developed a full treatment plan. So for everything, pretty much, right? So we can target acne scars, stretch marks, and we have a treatment plan for you for wrinkles and then uh, skin thickening as well. This can be found on our portal. So for all of you who are part of the Sinclair fam, you have access to this. Awesome. Any questions? Yeah, any questions about that? We have that? a few minutes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much.